Launching Air Link and you're getting the black screen with three white dots that's making you literally want to pick up your quest and throw it across the room. Yes, I know. It happens all the time. So let's fix it. Usually it is one of your drivers that needs updating. Now you need to make sure your Quest 2 is fully up to date and your Oculus software on your computer is fully up to date. Then you need to make sure Windows is fully up to date. So to make sure Windows is up to date, what you want to do is go to your search bar and then type in Windows update settings and it should pop up. Check for updates and we'll see here you are up to date or check for updates. Click that anywhere, double check. Updates are available, you see, and they're now installing, which is probably going to break something else. The next one to make sure is, depending on what graphics card you've got, you need to double check that that is also up to date. The best and easiest way for me to do it is either, for example, if you're using Asus, you want to probably load up Armour and Crit, or if you're using like an MSI, you want to load up their version of whatever it is. Or you can go to, if you haven't already downloaded it, GeForce Experience. And you can get your drivers. And as we can see here, GeForce Game Driver is needed. That is the major issue when it comes to black screen with three black dots. Unless you are using a laptop like this, for example, that has two graphics cards. Then in that case, what you actually need to do is... Go to your search bar, depending on what operating system you're running. Type in graphical settings. So once you're inside, what you want to do is go to browse. And then you want to go to your operating system drive, which is usually the C drive. Then you want to go to program files. And then you want to search and look for Oculus. And then inside Oculus, OVR, Redar. And that's the one you want to select for this one. I'll give you the rest of them in the description down below. And then as you can see there, it's saved and it says let Windows decide. You don't want to do that. You want to go to options and you want to select your specific GPU. There we have it. My GPU is there and for some reason it always... It generally wants to go to the, the rubbish one. So we select that, and there we go. That is as easy as it gets, really. What you want to do is search for the rest of them. Like I say, I'll put them in the description down below, and that should fix, if you're using a laptop, your black screen with three white dots. Whatever you do, don't do it the lazy way, which is why I originally did it, where I set everything. I just switched, I went in and switched the other graphics card off, and it, it messes things up. You, you want to just specify these files and make sure that they're all specified to go to the gpu that you want to use and that is your proper graphics card not the rubbish one if you have any other problems that aren't to do with the free black dots and air link then i should have some videos pop up that might help you one of them is probably the fact that the pop-up doesn't pop up and the other one is generally that there is a bit of lag and there are some suggestions on how to fix that as well. 